Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monica of Millie and Monica over on Poshmark where I am a full-time seller and today I have a pretty large Goodwill outlet thrift haul for you. I went to the Goodwill outlet bins, um, which is where you pay by the pound. I sourced around 60 pounds of clothing, um, spent a little over $70 and I was there for about four hours. Um, so if you are interested in thrift hauls, selling clothing online, and making money online, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And of course, give this video a thumbs up. That helps me know that I should make more content like this here on YouTube. So I truly feel like this is one of my best hauls, which is so kind of ironic because I really wasn't feeling it the first couple hours. I was just basically finding the basic bread and butter mall brands, which is great. I don't mind picking up that stuff. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I sell a lot of that stuff and that pays my bills. But I really enjoy finding a higher end kind of luxury or designer item here and there. It's exciting. So I did find some really good stuff. So if you are at all familiar with just sourcing in general, really, you can, you know that, you know, some stores are not great all the time. Um, you might come across some gems just by chance. And that's basically what happened to me um, because I was there for quite a while um, a couple hours in they started calling cart checks and that's where they go around like the workers go around and they ask like they call out um, whose cart and if no one claims the cart they throw everything back in and I'm guessing that I found a lot of this stuff after someone's cart was thrown back in because it just seemed too good to be real that it was all in this blue bin Anyway, I found a lot of shoes and their pairs, which is very, very rare. Um, I usually have to really, really dig and search. So I'm not sure how I came across all of this. I guess it's just chance and luck and being somewhere at the right time, which I'm not complaining about. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I did find this pair of Ferragamo uh, heels, their little heel here. They got this fun square toe. They're kind of a patent leather corally color in their size nine. Um, as always, if you're interested in purchasing any of these items, go ahead and describe the item down below. Leave me your Poshmark username handle so that I can tag you in the listing. That seems to work really, really well. Um, or you can always just search the just in category on Poshmark in my closet. But yeah, so those shoes are really fun. I've only found Ferragamo a few times. Uh, this hat is fun and I got to do some new research. I'm probably not going to say it right, but there is some spots, a little bit of wear, but it's a pure fur felt hat. Say that 10 times fast. And it's a size 58. I would say it probably fits like a large. It's too big for me. And it's a snow river style. Um, these hats retail for like 180 on Amazon from what I could see. And they're reselling this exact style was reselling between like 40 and 50. I just see some some comps, but um, there is a few spots, so I'm not quite sure how that's going to affect the resale value, but a fun find. I don't come across hats too often. This one, I'm not sure if this was a great find to pick up. It's a little more worn than I'd like, probably. Um, and it doesn't really say if it's wool, so I'm not quite sure what I'll do with this hat because it's yeah I'll try to sell it I, I bought it leather hat it's a size small it's by the brand Henschel I think that's how you say it and um comps were all over the place honestly I know it's dusty I need to clean it up but it's in otherwise good condition I saw some comps for this exact hat that said they sold for $50 I saw this same exact hat sell for 14 so I'll definitely price on the higher end um, but I don't like to share comps a whole lot because the comps range so widely and I accept a variety of prices, especially when I'm purchasing from the bins. If I don't purchase from the bins, I'm more of a stickler, but, um, yeah, so I will, I like selling things quickly and I just like selling things. So this is just a Harley Davidson baseball style cap. Um, yeah. And it does have its original Goodwill sticker on it. Uh, and this is an REI hat. It looks like it's in great condition. 
Um, it doesn't really look like it has any wear. And so yeah, just a trucker hat. This pair of aerosols um, has its like stickers in it and it looks to be like brand new. So I don't expect a lot for these, but I don't mind picking up aerosols, especially if they're in like new condition and never really worn. Um, I like the little espadrille on there and kind of like the lace detail. Here we have a coach bag. This one's super nice. Probably one of the nicest coach bags I've picked up. It's a vintage coach and um, it's extremely structured. Like sometimes they get like all, they lose their structure and they get kind of, I don't know, flabby. Is that a great word choice? But there's a lot of sections and it just doesn't seem like it had a lot of use at all because like I said, it's it has its good structure still to it. Lots of different sections. A light wear but it is a little bit bigger style as well so that was a nice find this is just a basic kind of vintage leather bag kind of a hobo style lots of different pockets and sections i like picking up genuine leather whenever i can um in my last haul i think i shared that i picked up or purchased for myself on poshmark a myra bag which is just like a boutique brand bag um you know, I feel like I have a couple now. I have a backpack and I have the tote bag and both of mine have this like calf hair. I don't know if that's the real term for it or what it is, but it's like fur. And I really like that detail and the texture. And this has like the leather detail. This one's a crossbody. So it does have the adjustable crossbody strap um, and the zippers at the top. Lots of different pockets. I think they're great bags. I enjoy them. Very boho style. Um, there's the back, just canvas. So I was excited to find it. And I thought this was the same brand when I saw this because they were in the same bin together. Um, and very similar just design. But it's actually the brand Mona B. And I'm, I'm assuming they're sold similarly at boutiques. This is just a large tote bag um, in a very kind of tribal boho canvas design. Um, it's kind of got the distressed look leather handles very light wear this one's a little bit more worn than the other one um it does have a stain on the inside but i'll give it a go because i like the style this is just a really basic fossil bag coated canvas really good condition um basic colors again it was a crossbody this is so exciting in that bin with all the shoes i found this so it is, anytime I see something that's like vintagey and like crock and bust, I'm always interested. And this appeared to be in really good condition. I like the little tassel detail. I looked inside real quickly when I found it and I saw that it was made in the US, which was a great sign. And it's by this brand Brahmin. So when I started researching Brahmin, I was pleasantly surprised uh, because comps were great and there was a ton of recent solds. Um, so I found the Croc and Boss style of this bag, like similar, very similar styles with the same Croc and Boss. Um, just the wallets themselves were going for like 40. Um, there was other like larger bags that were selling for quite a bit more. So I priced this around 125. I am hoping to get at least 80 for it, um, or around that price range because it is in beautiful condition and there's this little like logo here too and uh it's kind of like a boat i don't know if you can see it but this is a fun find again it's in fantastic condition it's just like a shoulder bag the strap isn't very long but super cute this was a new to me brand as well this bag it does have some fading i don't know if you can tell like the sides are darker than kind of like the front and um I think there's some like fading here on the strap as well but otherwise like the embroidery is in really good condition and I could tell just by the embroidery that it was probably a good quality bag and the inside was very clean even though there is some fading and here's the brand of the bag so it's Isabella Fiore is maybe how you say it but this brand is being resold not only on um, Trade-Z but the real real um, and it looks like the larger style embroidered bags are going from $100 to $200. I did price this around the $40, $50 mark just because of the fading, but it's otherwise in really good condition. There's like no real like tears or anything. So 
I don't know. I think that's, it was fun to do research on this bag. The crossbody, I didn't say it. This is just a Victoria's Secret, um, like, tote duffel bag. I would say it's more of a duffel bag. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. You could really put, use that as a carry-on if you wanted on the airplane. So, um, I feel like people search Victoria's Secret often. I could not leave this little pair behind there. The little brand Acorn and those owls are so cute. Um, they say they're a kid's infants 10, 11. So super adorable, barely worn. This, this was a pair of shoes that wasn't in the, the gold mine bin, but I had had to really search to find both of these. They're patent leather vintage, um, I think it was like a AJ Valenci um, boots. I really like the square toe. I think they'd be super cute with some structured um, vintage jeans, like with raw hem. And those would be really cute. So like those a lot. These are just a basic pair of Toms. And they have some scuffing on the heel, but otherwise really good condition. They're size eight. So I've sold this exact style before, so I was excited to find it again. Okay, most of these shoes now are from that bin. This is a new to me brand as well. I think the brand is Bailey, um, but I really like just the classic rounded toe like pump. They are leather and just a great quality shoe. Comps were decent on this. Um, they're made in Switzerland. So this is a hundred hundredth anniversary style they're a size eight so yeah very classic the kind of the little, little retro like type detailing on them i've sold this exact style of shoe before so this is bach by born they're the animal print design it's a comfort shoe size seven i was really excited to research these um they're paul green which I had never found or researched before, but comps were really good. I did price around the $100 mark, and I will hope for, you know, probably 70 ish on these, just based on comps and the condition and style. I like the wingtip um, design in the gray leather. And this was a brand, I, I still don't know what the style of the shoe is called, but it's Beautiful, Beautiful, uh, instead of Beautiful, and... They also retailed and had some decent comps. I couldn't find this exact style, but they're like a slip-on. They have a metallic like animal print to them. I don't know if you can tell, but they're a size 39. Very like a comfort shoe. Again, new to me. They really have hardly anywhere. Um, it's maybe Archie. I'm not Arch. I'm not quite sure. They're flats. These had amazing comps. Um, again, there's, there's going to be low ones. There's definitely low ones, but there were some really high ones that was like shocking to me. So seemed to be like a comfort flat with, you know, like a career wear comfort flat, very little wear. Um, I forgot what size those were. I think they were a Euro European 40. So I think roughly a 10 and where's the match? Well, there's a match somewhere. This is a lucky brand. Uh, basically new, their size 10, um, espadrille platform wedges, wedges, all those words together. Oh boy. But this is a leather. This piece is leather. They got the cork in there. Basically new. Don't know that they were ever worn. So that was fun. And last pair of shoes, and we'll move into the clothes, is another new to me brand. They are like a Mary Jane heel with like, this is actually a slingback. Kind of fun retro-y type shoe. Love the red. Um, I have a pair of Mizmoos that are actually very, very similar to this that I love that are red, like that same color red. Love them. Okay. So I said, I think I said I found some good vintage and I did. Um, this next dress is like, I feel like such a rare find at least anymore. I feel like I used to find more dresses like this when I lived in Seattle. Um, but that was a few years ago and I just, I feel like they get more rare and rare. Um, here's the label. I'm assuming this is a 40s to 50s style. I need to do more research yet on this dress because I just don't know enough. Because I don't find these styles very often, so I don't do much research anymore on them. Um, 
anyways, it has this amazing like zipper that goes down the front. These are like a faux like little flap here. Um, but I'm assuming it's wool. It does have a little wear in the armpits. I think I'm going to use my sweater shaver here, but it's still a little discolored as well. Just a beautiful fit. I can't wait to model this. I think it's going to be gorgeous. And this piece truly wants, makes me want to start selling on Etsy because I do have a couple of like rare pieces that I just feel like as much as I love listing them on Poshmark, I feel like they're not um, reaching their target audience. And maybe if I try listing them on Etsy or eBay, we'll see. I'm going to try some new things. This is a brand I believe is sold at JCPenney's. There's a few of these available on Poshmark, and but I not very many in the size large. So some have sold. Again, comps are crazy um, all over the place. Um, maybe 25 to 50, but that's a huge range. And, uh, anyways, it's in really good condition. It really doesn't look to have been worn at all. I like the print trench style jacket. Love this grandma cardigan. I'm all about this grandma cardigan. It is so fun. There's no size. I, it fits me very oversized. I definitely think it could fit up to a size extra large and it's just kind of oversized longer. I'm assuming it's a rabbit angora, maybe blend of some sort. Again, no, no fabric content. So, but it's kind of fuzzy and has, I don't know if you can see the fuzziness of it. I like the print though. The open front. I need to switch my bags up here, but I'll do that in a minute. So this is just a new day by Target. Um, kind of like a oversized boxy cowl neck with the stripe very fuzzy and soft I don't mind picking up target brands at the bins I'm in love with this now I found a few pieces with this exact same label that you'll see throughout I love this color pink so this is this one is 100% lamb's wool and it's again a kind of a grandma cardigan it's longer covers the booty but I love both of these pockets. So this has an upper pocket and then a lower pocket, but the other side just has like a lower pocket. Yeah. I just really like that. It's in great condition. And we have a modern express open front cardigan with the drop sleeve. And I just feel like these are staples. I normally probably wouldn't pick up JCPenney, but this was in fantastic condition. It's so soft, size extra large, and it's got this great color blocking to it. It's a gray, navy, and teal, and a waffle knit. Um, I love the elbow patches, and then again, the color block here at the cuff. So I felt like that was a fun, it's a wool blend piece to pick up. And I'm absolutely just, ah, uh, this is one of my favorite colors. So this is an express medium. It's an oversized, again, boxy, like knit sweater. Um, but this dark green, like a forest green, I just like this color so much. So that was a good find. This I didn't realize was as stained as it is, but it is what it is. So if you've been following along for a while, um, I sometimes like to pick up these kind of fringy Western redone tops. I definitely think that this was once just a basic tee and then someone kind of altered it or, you know redid it so but it is kind of stained here at the armpit like on both of them it's kind of like brown and the hem which looked to have been cropped and then sewn is like coming undone in a couple areas but I still think this would be a really fun um top for concerts or festivals or anything it's just really unique and it's like a faux leather I think this is an open knit like vintage little sweater. Uh, it does button at the bottom. It's super cute over a turtleneck and that is how I styled it in my modeled photos. So yeah, that's uh, just a little basic vintage piece. This one has a vintage feel, but it's a modern. So this is just billabong size medium and it's just kind of a oversized knit cardigan, really long and cozy. Okay, so this one's by that label again, but this one's actually a linen blend, which is interesting. Um, and I really like the print. It's kind of like a florally, it reminds me of clouds though. 
but yeah, it's fun. There's no size, but I would, well, I guess it does have a size. It says 34. Um, it's oversized on me as a small, but I would maybe say better for a medium large. Now I need to read. Okay. This I just picked up because it was new to tags. It's no comment and it's a size 3X. I like this um, camo color. And this Express piece, or no, it's not Express, Marisa, sorry. Um, I like, it's kind of a muted, dusty purple, but the hem, I don't know if you can see, it's scalloped, which is really fun, a really fun detail, a unique detail. And so, I mean, this, a lot of this is now bread and butter stuff, I mean, realistically. Vintage, kind of a looser knit, again, this pretty pink, mauve, maybe pink. No size. It's definitely pretty oversized on me. Um, it can fit a variety of sizes depending on how you want it to fit. Tuck it in. But I like it. You could layer that too. I love picking up gingham. This is a vintage gingham. And kind of peasant style neck there. The sleeve has a fun tie detail. Um, there's there's no size, but I, there's like a little wear here. Um, again, oversized on me. I definitely think it could fit a variety of sizes medium to maybe XL. I'll have to measure, put that in the description. Uh, this needs a little sweater shaving, so I'm not quite ready to list it. It's a Levi's, just flannel, plaid. Um, yeah, but these seem to go, these plaid pieces do really well this time of the year. Great bundle pieces, if anything. I thought about taking this into consignment, but I decided to keep it. So it's Style & Co., extra large. I just think this style is so great for this time of year. So, and it's extremely soft and cozy. It's got some like waffly knit, um, areas, and then it's just a longer, almost kind of tunic like, maybe not completely tunic, but anyway, it's got the fun little sides there. So I like that. <laughs> this is like the OG Teddy, <laughs> Teddy sweater. So it's, it's dress barn is the older, definitely older label. Um, it has shoulder pads. So maybe like late nineties. Um, but it's kind of this like fuzzy, not chenille, but it reminds me of like a Teddy sweater. And I like the patchwork kind of design of it. Super cozy. Uh, but yeah, like the OG of the Teddy sweater. I was so bummed about this. <laughs> so it's Eileen Fisher. Um, like almost nothing was really that damaged from this haul, which is good. I had a couple pieces, but, uh, this one is, I'm thinking I'm going to keep it for myself. I didn't notice at the bins, but there's like very faint, very faint spots, um, in here. And it's really hard to see it. I don't know that the camera's even picking it up, but so I'm going to try to keep it and just wear it myself. It's, um, Italian yarn. Let's see what the fabric content is. It's soft. Merino wool, nylon, and spandex. So, yeah, unfortunately, I just don't think those spots are going to come out. We'll see. I don't think my dry cleaner would even be able to get it out, but it's probably pretty set in. So I'll keep it. I'll wear it. Be happy. Overalls. You know my love of overalls. These are Forever 21. They're size 30. They're kind of like a girlfriend fit. But I really like their, this kind of like patchworking and distressed. Um, I like the the wash on it. It's just good. Overall, overalls are good. This is a zero, zero short. So I will pick them all up. American Eagle, very distressed, um, jeans. They're the right style. I like the American Eagle. They sell fast. Some mom jeans, Lee, this is like, or no, these are the basic editions, mom jeans. They do have some paint stains, but they're high rise. Um, yeah. Like picking those up and keeping those stocked up. Oh, here's the Lee. So again, just a pair of, this isn't that old of a label, but it's an older Lee jean high rise. Again, mom jean. I have a little bit of stretch to them, but this is probably one of my favorite and most unique finds in a while. As far as denim goes, this is a vintage pair of Lee's bareback, but they have this great pleating detail. So it's been a while since I found a pair of pleated jeans, um, but apparently they're coming back. And uh, 
So I found a pair. Uh, last winter, I picked up a few pairs of pleated jeans, and they did pretty well. Um, and oddly enough, I remember going to the Mall of America in, I think, March. We, my husband and I went for our anniversary, and I did spot several younger females wearing high-rise pleated denim. And I thought, well, that was interesting. And so I kind of tucked that away as a useful nugget of info. Um, this is a pair of Levi's 501 button fly here. Um, and here's the, here's the label and they are, of course, you can see that they're white. They're size 34, 32. Anyway, they, um, have some stains on them and I didn't want to wash them with my other denim. I didn't want the, the blue dye to transfer. So I need to still try to wash this pair, um, separately and maybe some bleach cause they're like stained there. I don't know if you can see it. And they have a few other like stains, which is very common with this white lighter denim or maybe like ivory. I have still sold this light denim with stains um, several times. So I'm not, if it doesn't come out, I'm not worried, but I'm going to try to treat it first. And lastly, so I went back and forth several times with this jacket. Again, that label, um, it's 100% wool made in Great Britain. The buttons in the red are so good. Oh my gosh, I just love it. And the wool is so soft. But if you can see, it's got a couple holes. And I don't know that those are moth holes or if it was snagged on something. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stitch it up with some red thread. You're going to be able to tell. I'm just going to put it in the description, you know, that it was stitched up. It's not going to be perfect by any means, but the style of this jacket is just so good. I was too hard to leave behind. And so I'm glad I picked it up. I, I definitely don't regret this. Um, I do have a pretty big mend pile at the moment. So hopefully I'll be motivated to get the mending done, get those items listed. Um, so yeah, that concludes my Goodwill outlet Ben's haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new and if you're still watching and you're here, go ahead and share this video on Instagram. I'll reshare your story on my stories. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.